Haha, <laughs> now Mako will have to make videos on my channel. Matt? Oh, hey, Zatch. Long time no see. You, uh, burning down my Mackle's trailer? Uh, yeah. Does this mean I don't have to do Mackle and Zatch anymore? Uh, yep. Series is officially over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now I don't have to watch Plumber Night. Woo! Hey, uh, we're watching the Oscars over on my channel. You want to come? Yeah. There's free beer. Well, I don't drink. But I do like free stuff. So sure. Is something burning? I went, like, way too hard last year. <laughs> Which is weird, because it, it was, like, the best year for the Oscars. I agreed with, like, all the picks. There was no fiasco. The worst part was Kimmel, and even him I've kind of grown numb to. He also wasn't too in it too much last year, I believe. Which made it better, I think. Man, I can't wait for there to be an atrocity that happens this year. They might. I don't know. Every couple of years they have something really bad happen. This year I'm going 2020 style, when I would take a shot every time Promising Young Woman won. This year it's Poor Things and American Fiction. If one of them wins, I'm doing a shot. I'm uh, taking a shot for every single time uh, Elemental wins a reward. Elemental wins all the awards, not even <laughs> nominated for, for, for it. The Chevy Silverado. What was it do? Do you have a complete disdain for pedestrians, other drivers, and the environment? <laughs> Get a big ass fucking truck. Hell Fuck yeah. everyone. Whoa, Jimmy Kimmel, whoa. You're Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. You're yeah. Not, I don't like you. This reminds me of like a Teen's Choice Awards like yeah. intro. The Kids' Choice oh, Awards. The MTV Kids Choice Awards, Award yeah. intro. You remember the MTV Awards? <laughs> I'm Where they would just, like, stick Will Ferrell in the Matrix. This is like the 2008 <laughs> Kids' Choice Awards when Jack Black was like, Miranda Cosgrove, Lust and Limbersnake took my hosting job. Now I will rip off my clothes and reveal I was a superhero the whole time. Is he the only one that wanted to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> Look at these beautiful human actors. Yeah, it's Hollywood. They're paid to be that yeah, way. Human actor. actor. He's a fucking skinwalker. No, human. No cats or dogs. <clears throat> Everyone in this room is AI generated. <laughs> Margot Robbie absolutely should have been nominated for her appearance in Asteroid City. Yes. Oh, there's your dog, Mitzi. You, you happy now? <laughs> you fucking oh, yeah. Mitzi, huh? Is, is, is that the dog Anatomy from Anatomy of the Fall? Of the Fall? Yeah, yeah, he was is. really good in that. He was the best part of that movie. <laughs> he, he had to act like he was dying. He actually did. Uh, Ow! Okay, okay. How did America Ferrera get nominated? I thought she was good! I don't- She was just a woman! She was just there! I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Is she, um, <laughs> out of context! <laughs> wait, is she- is she the- She's the mom in Barbie, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's the mom in yeah, Barbie. Yeah, she didn't do anything, honestly. She, why was she nominated? I don't see. Like, it was fine what she did, but I don't think she Why not be, like, Kate McKinnon? Kate worthy. McKinnon was way more entertaining in that Yeah, movie. I agree. It's, yeah, it's Best Supporting it's Actress best supporting. Now, out of the five nominated this year, I've only seen Oppenheimer and Barbie, uh, and I don't think either of those two will win this one. I think Divine Randolph is taking it. She doesn't, yeah. it's not undeserved either. Yeah, no, I, I think she, uh, holdovers. holdovers. I think she's gonna take it, and I want her to take it. Yeah, I agree. I love how her, her dress does not go down to her shoulders. Yes. No. It's clearly, like, Diff dress. trying its best to be its own thing. That's like a standing dress. It's a Polly Pocket dress. It's made out of rubber. No, she was great. Uh, she, she was great. one of the... All, th all three of the main characters in that movie were great. Like, uh, any of them winning wouldn't be, like, an outrage. The, the story was really weak in that movie. Best the three characters were really strong. 
Best actor is stacked this year. Otherwise, I would be for Paul Giamatti. I bet the monologue is why she is here because she does have a big monologue at the end. I don't know. It justifies it though. It's just I don't. I I she she like I said. I agree. She wasn't like terrible, but I just uh, there were better supporting actresses from that movie that could have been. Yes, I agree. Like Michael Sarah. <laughs> Michael Sarah should have been nominated. He was snubbed. Snubbed, I say. I haven't seen the color purple. That was one of the ones I missed. I don't even know what the color purple is. Like, I know what red, blue, and yellow are, but I've never heard of the color purple. People, people keep telling me that's a thing. I don't well, think okay. Uh, <laughs> there's, like, this uh, Lovecraft story about it, how it comes from space okay. and, like, drives you mad. Okay. Divine. Okay. Hey. There it is. Okay. Yeah. I got a perfect yeah. score this so one far. Off Let's 100%. A hundred percent on my predictions tonight. Woo, everybody yeah. else is at a zero percent right now because no one guessed. It's impossible for Zach, Stuart, Chris, or Mitzi to get a perfect score. They're all out. I, I don't have a score. I, I don't, don't have one either. Scorecard. Not with that attitude. If I if I maintain a one hundred percent by the time I make it to a category I don't have one in, I'll just shout one out. Matt, can we kick uh, Mike out for the next Oscars? Uh, I mean... I'd like it. Yeah, I mean, it would improve the video, probably, but it just seems kind of rude, you know? I don't think he adds anything. Uh... No, I, I agree. I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna cut him out of the video he entirely. Me every day. Like, I'm not yeah. gonna leave any of the things he says in, but... If, if anything, I'm looking out for Stewart because he's the real victim here. Hey, guys, look what I can do with my thumb. Okay, he can stay. He, he can literally stay. sends he, me pictures of his cool. thumb every day and says, Hey, Stuart, uh, Mike, look at this. Uh, no, no, shut the fuck up, Stuart. Mike is a gem. <laughs> I love that guy. I liked the holdovers pretty well. Yeah, it was, it was decent. I, it, it is, it's, it's an extremely predictable movie played out with great actors and great characters. The sense of humor also won me over. Like, the scene where he actually does break his, uh, like, what is it, his wrists he breaks... Like, that was really funny. Uh, where he just, like, jumps off the trampoline and falls on the floor. Yeah. But just, like, the, like, interactions after, like, immediately after. Paul Giamatti gave a great performance. The kid gave a great performance. I don't know his name. You know he has never been in anything before? I didn't he know that now. He just tried out for the movie, and they're like, yeah, you can have the lead. And he did great. <laughs> It's his first yeah, movie, it. and he knocked it out of the park. <laughs> awesome. I wish that happened more often, honestly. Look how many Pixar... It's all Pixar movies. <laughs> I know. I know. John and Yoko. I thought that one wouldn't just because it's fucking John and Yoko. What the fuck but, is uh, John and Yoko? Yogurt? Uh, hello? <laughs> yes, Stuart, yogurt. <laughs> they won the movie? Yeah. Yeah, John <laughs> Lennon and Yoko Ono won an Oscar. Okay, intimidating. Um, that's John Lennon right there at the microphone. Uh, we went to, uh, think the yeah, and that's Yoko Ono right next to him. Uh, oh, yeah. that movie I wasn't able to see. Thanks a lot for yeah. that. Did not see it. My that guess is Spider-Verse. That's my prediction. Robot Dreams was great. I loved it. It would be my pick. I'm, uh, Didn't see Spider Robot Dreams. Is least, like, le that most likely Elemental to win. reminded me too much of Zootopia with the with the theme, the to uh, whatever. The boy and the heron. Wow. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Not right, offended. The that's movie I, I wasn't it, allowed to watch. I'm pissed about Gary that. Zaki. I mean, that's Please valid. Me, though. Zaki. It's Studio Ghibli. Woohoo! Woo Fuck you for not making this available <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Miyazaki just walks up on stage. No, you can't watch it. Uh, Robot Dream and uh, Nimona would have been more surprising than that, but uh, I did think it'd be Spider Verse, so yeah, it's it's different at least. Start me a start go fun. He's gonna attack those fucking. Oh my god! Technical Jimmy, director. calm down. This is what it's like behind the scenes. He like he did not know the cameras were on right there. <laughs> He's was, like, oh, turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. That was assault number eight of the night. <laughs> Someone was they, so, well. some brave cameraman was just like, "Oh, we gotta capture this." Cut to Jimmy attacking the crew. Yeah, poor things is great. I, awesome movie. The, the Oscars doesn't deserve this movie. 
This is like the type of weird, <laughs> fucked up shit the Oscars has been ignoring for decades. Great score, too. I would genuinely be happy if it won for its score. Um, I was surprised that they nominated it for that. This is so fucking hilarious, guys. You said Chippendales. No, I'm I don't think for all the moms in the audience. I'm saying Chippendale. Chip in. All right, there at least goes another 30 seconds that could have been given. We could have just said the Rescue Rangers for fuck's sake at this point. Oh my goodness. How long can we drag? The Chippendale didn't even come out this year. What the can fuck? we get like a, a big, comically large cane and like attack them? <laughs> I hope. I, I want it to be You're a thing. You set it up that they're going to be dragged off the stage, but now you just hit them with it. Anatomy of Fall was a good script. I liked it. Uh, Didn't say I think it's the pacing of the movie. It was. A, I think it's going to win. No, probably not the holdovers. I think Anatomy, Anatomy of Fall is going to win. There's some really great sequences in that. I doubt Maestro. This will not win. No It'll way. probably get some audio awards. I bet it will get some yeah. sound. That or Oppenheimer is going to get sound, I think. I think I think sound or um, makeup, it can win, but that's it. May, December was a, Why was a good I script. I that cannot that, believe May, December was not nominated for more stuff. Um... Was it only nominated for screen that, yeah. that is a line that that's only it. makes I, sense if you have seen the movie. <laughs> I thought Natalie was going to be nominated or something. I think Past Lives will win. What's that? Kick-Assia? <laughs> Kick-Assia? kick -ass with a steel chair! <laughs> Called it. Anatomy of a Fall. Uh, what one? Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, okay. Anatomy of a Fall. Matt had that one. I did. I thought it might be Past Lives because nice. of like a conversation at the end of it, but yeah, no, uh... Anatomy of a Fall, good script. It wasn't my favorite this year. It mainly comes down to like a genre that I'm not as into and the pacing, but the script was solid. I mean, there was some very interesting scenes in it for sure. I do kind of like this woman's um, outfit. So not, not undeserved. They're a little disrespectful to the writers, but they're not as disrespectful as they are to the effects people. Well, it's because one year the effects people tried to talk about how poorly they're treated in Hollywood and uh, the Academy was like, no, 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 no. No, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> no, you know. I, and I feel like we mention that every year, but the reason we do is because they haven't gotten better. <laughs> They're doing both scripts. Uh, American fiction. Yeah, I would be yeah, happy. Sure. I would be uh, happy would... with American fiction. Very good. Solid script. I don't know why that's the scene they picked, but... You should have cup. Hey, man, I should have a cup once. Uh, I wanted to. It's only it was it was only available to like purchase for twenty dollars. I'm willing to. Uh, I, I, I was I was bored by the first shot of that movie. Uh, this one maybe. Oppenheimer, I think, is gonna win best picture, I so I think it probably won't win best screenplay because that's usually mm -hmm. like the script isn't the 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 the, the, the <laughs> sorry we didn't give you best picture award. <laughs> I, I don't think it has the best. I don't think I, the script is like the real strength of that movie. I think either. Barbie's gonna win. I'm just so tired. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Zone of Interest for this one. That's my guess. I'd like poor things to win. I, I, I would rather it. this win. Yeah. Yeah. American fiction. American fiction. Oh, one just won that. American oh, fiction. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, guess I gotta nice. do a shot. I'm glad it got something, because I, I wasn't sure if American Fiction would win anything. I, I I'm with you. Anything. Like, I liked the lead actor, but again, best actor is so stacked this year. Yeah, I, I, like for me, Bradley Cooper's the only one that I don't want to see win it. I'm yeah. with you. This movie was openly making fun of the Oscars. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like it called it called out the Oscars by name. They did. This movie is either they either didn't understand what they nominated, they didn't watch it, or they just have a sense of humor. I mean, uh, you know. Risk, at the risk of sounding like a white person, you should watch American Fiction. <laughs> oh no, Michael beat you to it. Our, our, our neighborhood white person beat you to it. Don't worry, I got it, Matt. I got it. I covered it. For All right, yeah. <laughs> We're the good ones. <laughs> this, this is a good. This is a good song. I think it's. I think Barbie's gonna win either way, either for this song or I'm just kidding. I it probably will be a Barbie. Song. I listened to the best song nominees. Two of them sucked. The two Barbie songs were great, and then the one from Killers of the Flower Moon was like <laughs> just Native American chanting. I didn't remember it. Yeah. Did they do uh 
song from Color of Purple? The Color no, Purple? No, they did not. It's weird that they didn't, though. Because that was a musical that they nominated. Why wouldn't they pick a song from that? Especially <laughs> since two of the songs they nominated sucked. They should have done Take On Me from the Mario Brothers movie. They made that yeah. song, right? They should do the Mario rap from the Mario movie. So th this song is just, I'm a Barbie girl without like the ironic sheen. They're just like directly talking <laughs> about the implications no, it's of that song. I'm a Barbie girl. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a review of I'm a no, Barbie girl. No, 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 hold on. Hold on, it's the song you sing after Barbie girl. So my rule of thumb with Oscar nominees is five minutes for every half hour of film. So I watched, I actually watched 30 minutes of this. I didn't, I didn't have to based on my rule. I was kind of interested in seeing where it was going because I think I could like it, but I, I think more than likely I'm going to get to the end and be like, eh, six out of 10. I think the ending was the best part. I thought the last 20 minutes were the strongest part. Is that the vulture? No, he, he played Batman in The Flash, remember? Uh, I got Oppenheimer for this. Um, I, it's gonna be Golda. Look at her. Oh, so this makeup. I think Maestro could win it. It was very realistic looking. I, look at that. It looks so real. Where's oh. Ari from Planet of the Apes? I'd say Oppenheimer, probably. Poor thing. Wow. Okay. Cool. No poor okay. things. Okay, cool. Uh, but which poor shot? things won though? There was two of them. I'm glad Poor Things won that, honestly. Like, Oppenheimer was really good. I loved the makeup in Oppenheimer. But Poor Things? Sure, take it. <laughs> yeah. So, pro so production design? The poor I could things see Barbie. Me. Barbie will probably see... win. I just need to know the other nominees. Yeah, Barbie I can see winning. What else? Barbie well, wouldn't be a bad one. Oh, how, how's he doing that? Production, Don't production worry about design, it. it's almost definitely Barbie. Did they yeah. like, I Did can't they, imagine they Barbie not winning this. Maybe Oppenheimer. Maybe I'd be Oppenheimer. happy with Poor Things because I love the set design in Poor Things. That'd be my personal vote, but Barbie probably will win, and it's not that Barbie doesn't deserve it. Poor, yeah. poor Things did look really good. So if Poor I Things say wins, I Barbie or Poor upset. Things, one of those. Poor two Things just get that again? Yeah. Wait. Wow. 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 Okay. okay. Not bad. Wow. Not bad. Good for them. I gotta see this movie, man. <laughs> yeah. And tonight he's coming back! <laughs> I got recommended this, and I was like, no way, are they... <laughs> no way was this a thing, and I didn't think they were going to bring this up today. I bet security would let it happen. We've seen how they work. Oh, it is about they are so about right to do it So right now, I'm going to run nude oh. across the street. Oh, Sean Cena, wow. The male body is not a joke. Mine is. <laughs> no. It's not. <laughs> that is the best. I, I didn't. Okay, that was laugh. actually a good that joke. That is the best joke. That's the best joke Jimmy Kimmel ever made, and I didn't laugh yeah. at it. No, no, no I, I am laughing on the inside. That was generally a good joke. I like that. You had one good joke from your writers' room, Kimmel. Good job. It was like timed well. That's the thing. Yeah. Like he, I, uh, Jimmy Kimmel has terrible timing. Barbie wouldn't be bad. If Barbie does not win this one, I will actually. I'm kind of predicting Napoleon, because Napoleon, Napoleon was like a huge production that otherwise isn't gonna win anything. I, I think it will be Napoleon, but I'm looking forward to seeing Mitzi's first Oscars rage. It, it's gotta happen, Mitzi. It happens to all of us. Oh, costume design. Okay. Uh, Mitzi's first Oscar rage was last year when they did wow, that's sing so cute. half uh -huh. of We Don't Talk About Bruno. Wasn't that two years ago? Uh, but yeah, that's ago. true. Four things Missy's again. Four things won again. Wow. again. Alright, well, I can't oh, be mad about this because this is Matt's movie, but come on! Uh, honestly, I love the costume design in Poor Things, but I probably would have given I, it to Barbie over this. Yeah, I, I would have given it to Barbie over Poor Things. The costumes were half that movie. Like, the Dunkirk Award goes to Poor Things. Damn, I... <laughs> I, I didn't expect the Dunkirk Award to go to poor things. I, yeah, this is, this is your Dunkirk Award. Holy shit. Straight up, The Rock would be a better host than Jimmy oh, Kimmel. Yeah, why don't they just get yeah. him? Why don't they? He has more charisma. People like him more. Arby's is Arby's. Arby's has just learned how Arby's to be Arby's. has chicken. There's sesame seed buns. Arby's is buns. Buns. We have Bobby's, buns. We have a commercial. That's chicken. I liked Killers of the Flower Moon. It was kind of long. 
It was longer it than was, Oppenheimer's, three and a half hours. It, it was nice. long. I stopped Very after long. two hours. I'll probably finish it, though. I mean, it's probably going to be it's, the one that's nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, it's going to be the one nominated <laughs> for Best Picture, and which the, I did not like that which, movie. And they do it now, every which year. One was no, which one was nominated for Best Picture? Zone of this Interest. Zone of Interest. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I heard Perfect Days was really good. I know some of them were on Netflix, but I just didn't get around to watching them. What's even the point? Why... Why do you... Whoa. Oh, I got it right. Whoa. Oh, no, even when she's standing, the dress doesn't look right. Yeah, it's it's bad. Made that. <laughs> I don't know what it, they were it thinking. It really is a Polly Pocket the, dress. The only, yeah, the only way I can support this outfit if it was specifically made to be inspired by Polly Pocket. I can't like, yeah, They're going to announce Habit Polly Pocket, the sequel to Barbie tonight. Barbie was good. Like, low-key... Barbie is probably, like, my number two movie of the year, behind Poor Things. Barbie's really high up there for me. I don't remember where I have it ranked, but it's within, like, top ten for sh sure. Um, if not in the top five, close to the top five. It was really good. If this was an AMC theater, the movie would just be starting right now. <laughs> Our next category is... He is, right, making, you know what? You know he is what? making a joke. That was a good joke because he made fun of how terrible, like, the 20 minutes of ads before a movie are. Fuck that like, shit. Like, he's making this joke about how long it's taking just to, like, get on with it, but, like, he's literally prolonging it. I'm, what was I'm, the point of that? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there. He did good. He was good. Would not be a bad pick. Sterling was good. I think Robert Downey Jr. is gonna win. I think Robert De Niro deserves it. I think both of them are fine to win. Yeah. Maybe him too. I from the little clips I saw, like he looks. I'm, he's always. I'm great. actually gonna go for Ryan Gosling. I, I thought he was great in Barbie. I think Margot Robbie should be there too. But I think Ryan Gosling was. Picks. Ryan Gosling was really funny. Robert Downey Jr., I'll give him this, too, and this is partially on the makeup side, too, which is another reason I think they probably could have won that one, but, like, uh, I didn't recognize him at first, and that surprised me. I, it didn't take me long to recognize him, but after, like, five minutes, I was like, oh, shit, that's Robert Downey Jr. Robert De Niro did a really good job. I, I wasn't into fl uh, Flowers of the Killer Moon, but I thought he was great. I, he, I do want He was the it. best performance in that movie. I agree. I'll give it to fucking Ryan Gosling, honestly. I was happy. I thought he was great. I thought... If Ryan Gosling wins, I won't be upset. Honestly, if, uh, I won't be upset regardless of who wins this one. It's a pretty good category. This shit. Pr 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 pretty good spread here. Pretty good spread. Pretty good spread. Yeah. I Mark Ruffalo might be the one where I'm like, no, he shouldn't win. Exemplified by your portrayal of Duncan. I thought he did a good job. Was, I just don't think he, he should have been the one nominated. He was fine. I just. It should have. It should have been Willem Dafoe. I'm with you. It should have been. Hey, Willem he did Dafoe. it. Robert Downey Jr. That's exactly who I predicted. That bumps my average up a little bit. Hey guys, I was in Iron Man once. How you doing? I was in Iron Man 2. I was in Iron Man 3. I was Iron Man 2. I was also in Iron Man 4. I was in Iron Man 4. Wait, I was in... Iron Man 4. I was in Avengers, which was kind of like Iron Man 4. I was in Avengers 5. Whoa! The dog's clapping! Did you guys see that? Oh, the dog's clapping! Oh my god, oh my god! I, it is kind of oh. it is kind of interesting that this dog got invited. There has been a lot of years where they did animals and didn't invite the dogs. Anatomy of a Fall was like I made it like an hour into that movie. It was fine. Oh, I like Anatomy of Fall. It's um, I I I do I do have issues with it, but I, it's kind of like there's really good scenes in it, and the parts that I don't like, I can't call bad. It's just not my thing. Oh, Schwarzenegger and DeVito oh, celebrating go. the 30th let's anniversary go. They got of Danny DeVito. The twins. Arnold just grabs Danny and like throws him into the audience. That was Mr. Freeze and Batman and Robin. That's the parallel. Yeah, nice. Oscar-worthy movie, oh, Batman goodness. and Robin. Uh, Guardians 3 would be okay, Mission Impossible 3 would be okay. Honest to God, I think 
I even though it's like the Dunkirk this I, year, I think Poor Things should have won this. I cannot believe should have been nominated. This is the first Mission Impossible to get nominated for any Oscar. Really? It's, I thought it was nominated past years. No, I don't remember. No, this is the first Mission Impossible to get nominated. So, I, my guess is Mission Impossible. I, Mission Impossible will win. I can say that too, yeah. Are you fucking serious? Oh, fuck off. What the hell? Don't play them off. Are they playing them off? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Wow, way to be a dick. Okay. I. Why is there talking about someone who died? Wow, we. You guys are blatantly assholes. It's like, it's amazing how little self-awareness you fuckers have. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not amazing. You know what? Fuck that. It's not amazing. I, I, I'm surprised they let him talk for longer than 10 seconds. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, Dan DeVito. Fuck you, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oppenheimer is gonna win editing, no doubt. Probably, yeah. Uh, it did some excellent work. Killers of the yeah, Killer I, Moon. I, I, I have absolutely Did Killers of the Flower Moon have any great edits in there? I mean, it's I a remember. Scorsese movie. They they kept it. I know, but though. like, I don't remember anything too impressive that I remembered. Like, well, I mean, you know, you know what they say about editing? It's like you're not really supposed to notice it if it's done well. Oppenheimer. Oh wow! I got it right. Whoa. Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oppenheimer had good editing, but it also it wasn't the best. I mean, uh, they kind of did. They did a little bit of... You know, what Michael, was, I can do better. What was, <laughs> what was that one movie from a few years ago that had terrible editing? Bohemian Rhapsody? That was Rhapsody? up for Best Picture. Oh, su oh Suicide Squad, no, well, yeah. No, not Bohemian what? Rhapsody. That did have bad editing. <laughs> no, what was it? It was about the world ending. Oh, don't look up. It's amazing. Yeah, no, there was parts of Oppenheimer that were don't look up-ish. <laughs> I I disagree. I think Oppenheimer was amazingly edited. Sloppenheimer. I think I think a lot of it was. I think there was a scene or two that had like trailer editing. Oh, I think Oppenheimer flowed really well. I think it is well edited. It's just it's just like a scene or two in that movie where it's like, why are you doing it like this? I don't think I. I you know what though? Like it's it's three hours long. You could argue that like the two like two or three bad scenes I'm thinking about like it overcame it with the good stuff in there. I'll I'll, I'll it's not a it's not an outrageous pick. Uh, you said you said this one wasn't very good, Matt. This song is like the most generic ass thing. The lyrics are incredibly repetitive. I was not into it. What? When are they gonna play Snake Eater? Honestly, he he's doing better here than he did in the version I listened to when I listened to all the the best song nominees. I think it should go to I'm Just Ken. I'd be happy with the Billie Eilish song too. Where's the song where it says I'm just joshing? <laughs> I'm just joshing. <laughs> It's yeah, the, that was Josh for Oppenheimer, where good. Josh Peck appeared. It's oh yeah, Josh Peck is in Oppenheimer. That's not even a joke. Hug me, brother, no, no, no. and then and then the bombs go he, off. He, he <laughs> has like two lines, but he is the guy who gets to push the button to drop the bomb at the Trinity. Josh Peck fucking the, killed the bomb, everyone. The bomb goes off, and then Oppenheimer and Josh are like Megan. Maestro is the one I didn't watch. I watched it for 30 minutes. I hated it. Sorry. If Maestro wins, I will retire from doing the Oscars. Calling it tonight. Whoa. I kind of hope it does so that, you know, Maestro <laughs> doesn't stop. It really shouldn't. If, if Poor Things wins Best Picture, I'm swapping teams. I am now on the Academy's side from now on. If uh, Poor Things wins Best Picture, they get bumped up to a 1.5 out of 10 instead of a uh, 1 out of 10. I'm not prepared to give them two points. Maybe I would have if they didn't play off special effects. Which one of the zone event? I was bored by the first shot of this movie. I uh, I think it looks really nice. I mean, cinematography wise, I think it look. I think it sounds interesting. I'm That's down to watch thing. it. I'm, I I don't know. I might feel I'm differently. I'm interested in the story, but the presentation is so fucking boring. It's such a boring Oscar baby we presentation. Did you ever finish it, Matt? Or did you just go through the beginning? I did not. I did not. I quit after like 25 minutes. I can't believe they sent Zendaya out there without Bella Thorne. 
shut the fuck up. I predicted Oppenheim. <laughs> oh, it was Oppenheimer. Nice. Oppenheimer short. Nice. Yeah, I, I, here's the thing. I think the most notable shots in Oppenheimer have like effects in them, but Oppenheimer's not a bad pick. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Oh man, look at his sneakers. I know, <laughs> I was gonna say. He's casual, right, look at his man. Kicks, yo. He's chilling. Okay, shorts. Uh, I wanted I've to see this and don't get the time. I, I hope the Wes Anderson one wins because the Oscars constantly ignore Wes Anderson. Did constantly. I could see him not winning. I'm I'm rooting for him. I could see him not winning. Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yeah. That is Wes Anderson's first. I'm surprised. Oscar. I'm surprised this is his really? first Oscar ever. It is. He's been nominated for animation for the like, two. Did he never win made, anything for uh, Grand Budapest? He no. He was That's he was crazy. nominated. He was nominated for best picture, best directing, yeah. and best screenplay for Grand Budapest. That's he crazy. was nominated. That was actually the first year I watched. He was nominated the for best animated feature for Isle of Dogs and Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox should have also won. He was nominated for best screenplay for Moonrise Kingdom and the Royal Tenenbaums. <laughs> what movie is this one from? Uh, the fucking Flame and Hot movie that was fucking like made up. The Cheetos this, movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they made a movie about the flaming Hot Cheetos and the, its invention, and it was fake! Wait, hold on. The guy the guy this movie was about fucking lied. None of the shit in Wait, the movie on. was Are true. Are you being serious right now? I am not joking. Wait, is it actually about the flaming Hot Cheetos? Yes, there was a movie about the flaming I was, flaming jo I hot was joking, Cheetos. what? <laughs> they made a movie about the guy who invented flaming Hot Cheetos, except he wasn't actually the guy who invented flaming Hot Cheetos. Why did they make a movie about that? All right, what's what are we doing? Oh, American Fiction, good movie. I like this. Yeah, I I heard there were some people who weren't into this one, but I really love the script. Was really funny. I started watching this movie and uh, I, I'm like, okay, you got 20 minutes, and after 20 minutes, I'm like, you know what? This one has hooked me. I want to watch it. Not subtle, not a subtle movie at all. But no, I feel like when you say you don't like it, it makes sense because like it sounds like it's being critical of a thing. So of course people aren't gonna like it. Well, the people I heard who said they didn't like it said they didn't like it because it was just like they said it was because it was like a boring and predictable movie, and that I don't agree with that entirely. I think it's more of a comedy is the thing. I think that you're not supposed to take American fiction that seriously. I think it has stuff like to say. Like I said, I laughed more in the first 15 minutes of that movie than I did, than I will in the entirety of this Oscars broadcast. Without sound, we wouldn't have been able to hear such classic lines as, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I'll have what she's having. And he was in the Amazon with my mother when she was researching spiders just before she died. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> to Matt Wedge! That's awesome. Matt Wedge! That's so sweet. good. That's so good. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> Madam Webb has won the Oscars. Why can't John Mulaney <laughs> host instead of Jimmy Kimmel? Please. You'd be so good. You'd be so good. Yeah, honestly, if he's willing to show up for this, just let him do more. I didn't expect that. For sound design? Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen the creator. I I have Maestro for this one just because it's the music movie. Yeah, me too. I don't want it to. I'm, I'm with you, Matt. I predict it's going to win. I don't think it should win. Oppenheimer is also a possibility. Oppenheimer probably deserves it. Although, granted, I didn't see two of these. I didn't see three of these. The music in Op Maestro was really good, though, I will say. Oh, my God. Hey, it could also go to it could also go to Oppenheimer or Mission Impossible because they're loud. The zone, of zone of interest. Oh, all right. Oh, we were all wrong. Quiet. Time to take a shot. What do you guys think that you because you saw the the film? What do you guys think about this? Oh, I I, I actually didn't see. That's the only one I didn't Who see. I want to see it though. I no one... saw some of it. I okay. don't care. <laughs> I could not comment on the sound. The sound was completely unremarkable. I feel like the Oscars likes to pick in movies that are really loud or sometimes that don't have any sound in the mouth. It's because they're old, so they can hear it. Uh, what was that? <laughs> But if it's also really quiet and that no one says anything for 20 minutes, it's artistic. I hate to say it, but I'm just kidding. Was the best song that's nominated? It oh, was a song. Movie. It's a really funny scene. It was a 
also like I don't I hate to say it. I love that scene. It was so theatrical and dramatic, and it was yeah, just I, so I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it totally worked within the. Film. I feel like. I feel like musically, though, it, like, works between being a pop song and also a theatrical song. Which is a not an easy thing to do. Also, I didn't know Ryan Gosling could sing so good. Oh, yeah. He's in the La La Land, too, by the way. Oh, I actually did. Yeah. Uh, La La Land, yeah. I, I kind of yeah, actually did. I didn't did. see La La Land. <laughs> I guess that's why I didn't know. You might, you might, I think you would like La La Land. Yeah, let's uh, see. that was one I was going to show you. I have it on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. We, we should, should watch, watch La La Land. Yeah, we should Remind watch La La Land. Remind me to show you La La Land. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that Slash? What the fuck? Slash they got the Slash. Slash. They got Slash. Who's that guy? That is Slash. <laughs> Slash at the Oscars. That's just yeah. my dad dressed as Slash. Slash isn't Gunter real. Slash. You guys don't still believe in Slash, do you? Uh, he was eat. He, <laughs> his son. he was Slouch. in the underground comedy movie, Michael. For which he almost assuredly won an Oscar. I think Oppenheimer is going to win Best Picture. That is my prediction for the evening. Possible. It's possible. Oh, Killers of the Flower Moon might have it. Uh, Holdovers or Barbie wouldn't surprise me, but I, I think it's going to be Oppenheimer or Killers of the Flower Moon. So this is score? Okay. The score, yeah. American Fiction did not have memorable music. I like did not the movie. See that Indiana does not Jones. I did not see it. Uh, hello! John Williams has enough. John Williams has enough. There shouldn't be any Indiana Jones mentions at all. I did not. Um, I think I did not us as a society is a lot better. Uh, Oppenheimer's yeah, a good yeah, score. Yeah, I like from that what I've heard, Oppenheimer sounds dope. Uh, honestly, the, the John Williams score could win. Poor Things is my Poor pick. Poor Things could win. I hope poor things. That was a great score. That's actually one that because the other is like I, I wasn't like super strong on that. Poor things. Oh, I want to, I want that to win. Okay. Music. Nice. Uh, okay. I thought, second best. Second best. Not bad. Um, Billie Eilish one. Yeah. Okay. I I would have preferred him just Ken. This is this is not a bad. Oh, she won. Pick. Original song. That scene. Oh, yeah. That scene. That scene made me tear up. I'll give it to that. If it wasn't, they time, flashed right by that. I didn't. I even, teared up at the end of Barbie. I'll admit it. That one. So I think it's best actor next. Right. Right. Which I'm gonna guess it's Cillian Murphy. I'd be okay. I'd be happy with him. I'd be happy with Paul Giamatti. I'd be happy with Jeffrey Wright. Anyone but Bradley Cooper. On on the one hand, it's incredibly stacked this year. On the other hand, Killian Murphy just yeah. gave like the performance of his lifetime. That is like a a a, a that's true career defining performance. I'd be okay if it's Jeffrey White won. I would be okay right. with Fuck. anyone except Bradley Cooper. And for the way that you but Killian Murphy. I'm leaning towards Killian Murphy's gonna win. I'm leaning towards Cillian Murphy is my first pick. Jeffrey Wright's my second pick. I think it'd be really cool if Jeffrey Wright won, just because I'm really not expecting it. I would it. love Jeffrey Wright. Paul Giamatti was Paul great Giamatti, too. I, I, yeah, like, I agree. I wouldn't be unhappy with these guys. He he almost made me cry. I didn't, but he almost got me. If Paul Giamatti was so won, fucking I would good. be so happy. Even though I was yeah, wrong. Yeah, he was so good in that. I, I, with stunts, I think voice actors should have a, a, a category. I think you could just put them in actors, but they never do. So just put a voice actor category in there. Voice acting, yeah. Killian Murphy. Killian yeah. Murphy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am. I am one hundred percent okay with that. He is who I had predicted, and I was. I'm. I'm kind of okay with him winning because it, it was. It was absolutely a career-defining performance he gave. It, it was great. I mean, he did a great job. The fucking guilt he feels in the last... Here's the thing. His character is good throughout, but the fucking last hour... It's not even the last hour. It's like the last 30 minutes of just... He has to, like, live with it. It was it was really well done. What if he What if he directed the Family Guy movie? It'd be pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking epic, Lois. Yeah, pretty I was about to say, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. Hell yeah! The Academy will occasionally give it to, like, a guy who deserves a Best Director <laughs> Academy Award, and Nolan. Nolan totally deserves 
and yeah. a yeah. Best Director Award. But on top of that, he does deserve it for Oppenheimer. Yeah, because here's the thing. If Scorsese won, I would say he deserves it as a career award. I mean, but I wouldn't the, want it to be the for movie that movie. He, he has won it for is not one he deserves it for, really. Um, Michelle Yeoh! Thank you for giving her an Oscar. No disrespect to Lily Gladstone. I was not impressed. A lot of people were. I, I She was just laying sick in bed throughout most of that movie, from what I saw. Carrie was fine. You uh, maestroed all over the audience. And the Carrie, talking. Carrie was fine. She is the only positive thing I have heard about that movie. There was a scene near the end that was she did a great job with, with the intimacy, uh, but... I, guess I, 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 I feel like this tragedy of a lot of actors and actresses is it's, it's, they're gonna be relying on that script a little bit, you know? Yeah. Like it, it's it's important. It's it's a collaborative effort. So if, I would uh, love Carrie to win an Oscar, though. I love Carrie Mullen. Yeah, I, I wish she would have gotten it for best. Uh, I, I wish it, for like fucking um, promising young woman. I thought she would. That was a great example. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Not Fuck bad. yeah, I totally agree oh, now, with this pick. Now I'm off. It's not what I had predicted, but like... Not bad. Fuck yeah, she... 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 100% deserves it. I said after this movie that Emma Stone deserves the Oscar and she will not win it. And and here she... She did. Favorite she performance. Did. Favorite performance of the year. Favorite performance of the year. And you know what? Michelle Yeoh was probably my perfor Michelle or Brendan Fraser were my favorite performances last year, and they both won. This year it's more concrete. It was Emma. I liked her more than Cillian Murphy. Um, she did, like, she went through so many different, like, ages, you know? <laughs> she starts off as, like, an underdeveloped child, basically. I no, yeah, I'm with- she does so much in this movie. It's a movie where if you gave it to someone who wasn't prepared, it could come off as she's making fun of the disabled. But because like they, she knew what she was doing, it worked really well. Yes, Al Pacino. I love Cheetos. The man, the, myth, the legend. What's my name? Don Pacino. Here we go. Best Picture winner goes to Maestro. Goes to Thor. Wait, who won? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Let's go. All you right. know what? I am a-okay with that pick. Not that bad. Like, not, not, not my number one pick. I would have picked four things, but, but I, I, I said it from the very start. Oppenheimer was my front runner for best picture. I am not surprised at all by this pick. I and and you know what? Totally. Totally fine with this pick. Yeah, not a bad pick. Surpri it, it, surprised it wasn't a, a, a what, what the fuck is it? Poor things. They balanced it out pretty good. Poor things won a bunch it of was, stuff. Yeah. The Barbie got Barbie the best. Won, Barbie like, got best song. They um. Just surprised. Holdovers just got a best supporting actress. The zone would, zone of interest Anatomy of Fall got stuff. They did a good job balancing it out. You know, be another Chad movie you can make at the Oscars. If you're in one of the categories that people respect, like uh, acting or director, just go up there and don't say anything and see how long it takes for them to cut you off. You have to stare at every camera. See if you say nothing, if they'll still give you more time than visual effects. <laughs> no, 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 like, they, they, no, like somebody comes up to you and you go like, no, 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 I'm not done. Uh-uh, mm -mm. uh-uh. Uh -uh. It's my time. <laughs> For once, it's my time. Delta Airlines, because life is a fucking nightmare. John Mulaney was there today. Delta Airlines, because life is beautiful. Fuck whatever Michael says. Paul Giamatti, great actor. Uh, is this a bit we're still doing? Yes, this, this is a bit we're still doing with it, uh, It's on my channel now, so yes, this is okay. a bit we're still doing. Okay. What's your sponsor, Chris? Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. No, 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 come on, give us your best singer. Brought to you by Fuck It. Uh... Mitzi, what's your best sponsor? Go. Um... We are sponsored by the, the Council of... 
uh, rat bastards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Matt, Michael, what's your best sponsor? Go. I did. I did say Delta Airline already, but we'll. we'll I, I always normally throw in another one. So my other sponsor is yeah. Cheetos. All right. My first sponsor was Abbott Elementary. So my second one is um, uh, 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 Bradley Cooper because Bob Iger paid him enough to at least get something. So yeah. Bradley yeah. Cooper. Woo-hoo! That's a good one. M- Matt- and, Matthew. Uh, t- t- tonight's Oscars is brought to you by by me by by the atomic bomb. <laughs> <laughs> look out! Look out your window. We dropped one I, for each and every single one of you as a gift. I I, I w- w- shout out to J. Robert Oppenheimer for developing the atomic bomb. Matt, can I tell you something very serious? Sure. Do you remember years ago when I came to you and I told you Whoa. that I was afraid that the atomic bomb might create a horrible chain reaction? We might create a horrible chain reaction by making this. And then I screamed like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I, I, I remember that back in like 1934 you said that. Yeah, well, I, I think we did. So, Chris... Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game! Dunkachino! You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend! Say hello to my chocolate blend! Attica, who I lucky like! This whole trial is out of sight! They pull me back in with hazelnut too! Caramel swirl, I know it was you! Everyone wants my Dunkachino!